Good morning and welcome. Today we are going to talk about urinary bladder stones. If you are interested to hear about gallbladder stones, then do please watch my video on gallbladder stones. So kidneys, as we discussed before, are bean-shaped structures, normally two. Tubes come out of the kidneys and they open up into a sac-like structure called the urinary bladder, which sits behind our pubic bone in the bottom end of our tummy and from it the urethra or the tube through which we pass urine comes out. Now urinary bladder can have stones which can range from size of a small pebble or even a grain of rice to medium size to very large size. Some of these stones can come from the kidney so they actually form in the kidney or tube from the kidney which is the ureter and with the urine can come down and come into the urinary bladder. And many of these stones which pass through are small stones and they tend to go out of the body without causing too much trouble. However, some stones are formed in the urinary bladder and can become very large in size, almost size of a golf ball. And they cannot pass through the little tube that passes urine out and they stay in the urinary bladder and can cause problems. And these stones will require some sort of surgical treatment to remove them. So what causes urinary bladder stones? So any condition which stops the bladder emptying completely. So when we go and pass urine, most of us will almost completely empty our bladder and there will be very little urine left at the end of passing urine. However, some patients can't do so. So that urine becomes like a static pond, it's a pond which does not move and stays full of water. And the water does not move, the water becomes dirty and becomes muddy. Same thing happens with the urine. That urine which is not emptying completely is prone to infection and becomes muddy and start forming stones. So what are the commonest causes for it? So the one of the commonest causes is men over the age of 50 who have got an enlarged prostate gland and that presses on the neck of the bladder and does not let them pass urine completely. And when the urine stays in the bladder for a very long time, stones form in that urine. In ladies who have problem with the pelvic floor muscle, which we are going to discuss in our future videos, the part of the bladder prolapses into the vagina and that is called a cystocele. And again, there is a pocket of bladder in which the urine does not empty completely and the urine stays in there for a long time and is prone to infection and stone formation. Sometimes the bladder itself can have a little pocket called a diverticulum and many patients are born with these pockets of diverticulum. Sometimes they develop because of blockage to the urinary bladder and this diverticulum again when the urine goes into it, it cannot empty completely, gets infected and forms stones. In some patients, the cause is the nerves coming to the bladder which I've drawn in these green lines they are not working normally so the nerves are damaged because as we know everything in our body works because of nerves nerves is the motor function of our body they are the engine in our body which makes our motor go whether it's our legs our arms our stomach our brain everything works because of nerves similarly the nerves which come from our spine into the bladder if they are damaged for whatever reason say there is damage to the spine or we have got spinal problems or somebody had operation in which the nerves got damaged or they have a condition in which the nerves are damaged, then the bladder will not be able to empty completely because it's not working normally. It can't squeeze completely and they can get bladder stones. So what are the symptoms of urinary bladder stones? 
the main symptom is pain. If the stones are very, very small, they usually don't cause any symptoms and the patients might feel passing stones in the urine. They are very, very tiny little pebbles. If the stones are a wee bit bigger, then the pain can be quite severe. The pain is usually above the pelvic bone, just at the bottom end of our tummy, in the front. And that pain in men can radiate down to the tip of the penis. They can pass blood in the urine, again a very common symptom of bladder stones. The stones can block the passage of urine, so the patient wants to go and pass the urine but cannot pass urine or passes urine in dribs and drabs, so the whole of the urine does not come out. Urinary infection, which causes the patient to go more frequently to pass urine, again in small amounts rather than emptying the bladder completely. So how are urinary bladder stones diagnosed? So the first thing the patient will do is go to the local doctor. The local doctor will do a urine test or a blood test to check for infection. And if the urine shows signs of blood or infection, then the patient will go for further investigations in the hospital. And the tests which are done to diagnose urinary bladder stones are usually ultrasound scan, CT or MRI, and a cystoscopy. Cystoscopy is a camera, small flexible camera or rigid camera passed up the urethra, which is the tube through which we pass urine. And with a telescope, the doctor will be able to see the stones in the bladder. So what is the treatment of urinary bladder stones? Very tiny stones pass on their own and will not require any treatment. However, if the stone cannot pass on its own, then the main treatment is with a camera put up into the urethra and through that camera the urologist will be able to remove most of the stones. If that is not successful, the stone is too big, too large, too hard to crack with a camera, then a keyhole operation might be required to crush the stone and to remove the stone. If that is not also possible or there is something wrong with the bladder, like bladder might have a diverticulum or something which needs to be removed at the same time because that is what's causing the stones, then an open operation with a cut on the tummy will be required. Some patients who cannot empty the bladder completely and that is the cause of their stones, like who have damaged nerves to the bladder, they might require a long-term catheter insertion to empty the bladder completely so it's not predisposed to making stones. Patients who have enlarged prostate glands or who have a cystocele or who have a diverticulum in the bladder, which is the cause of the stones, then that cause needs to be removed. So the prostate might need an operation, etc. So the stones do not form in the bladder. So those are the main treatments of urinary bladder stones. And if you have any questions, do please write them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer the questions. Thanks for watching and until next time. See you soon. Take care.